Hey, what's going on guys? This is David here. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak 9.2, 9.2.1, 9.3, 9.3.2, .3, and 9.3.3 .3 in English on Mac, Linux, and Windows using Pangu's new jailbreak. <music> So before we go ahead and start the video, I did just want to preface by saying apparently if you have this one right here, as you guys can see that profile installed, that's good. If you have this one, it's bad. Um, that's the seven day profile. So again, if you have that one, which apparently lasts for a year now, we're not 100% sure that one is the Chinese one, which is right here. I renamed mine for some reason, PP Patro to make it easier to find, but that's what it looks like. Um, so if you have that one, you're good, but if you have this one, that one's kind of a little bit more of a gray area. We're not really sure what's going on with that. So I just wanted to preface this video before we get straight into it to tell you guys that, that we're not 100% sure what's going on and, you know, you might want to actually jailbreak with the PC version, with the Chinese PC version, um, and I'll have that link down below in the description as well. Alright guys, so before we get into it, I did just want to show you guys and if I go to settings general and about and scroll down to version, I am running iOS 9.3.3. Now I updated this device, this is actually my mom's phone, um, but you know, that's why all these apps and random things are on here. But anyway, so you know, I would you know recommend that you guys update to 9.3.3 because it's the latest iOS version and it can be jailbroken so why not so now we can go ahead and go over to the website which will be down below in the description which is en.pangu.io and where you guys can see it says download and help now this is a 64 bit device jailbreak only as of right now I do want to stress that because a lot of people are like oh well you know I want to jailbreak my iPhone 5 running iOS 9.3.3 I want to jailbreak my iPod 5 you know, running iOS 9.2 or whatever the case may be. So it's not, you know, you can't do it. So it shows you guys a tutorial on what to do, but you guys can go ahead and press the download button. We already have it installed, the IPA anyway. And now also, this will also be down below in the description. Uh, we need Cydia and Pactor as well to make this work. And the nice thing about this is you're not limited to any specific, you know, system. You have a Mac version, a Windows version, and a Linux version. So here's the IPA, here's in Pactor. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. So that's what Cydia Impactor looks like. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our device and we're gonna go ahead and plug it into the computer. So now once we've done that, you guys can see the tool should momentarily connect our device. So next we actually have to just plug it in. There you go, I did that. And there it is guys, there it is, iPhone it says. And now what we want to do is we want to take the IPA file and we want to just go ahead and drag it over the Cydia Impactor window. And once we go ahead and do that, we will get a system pop-up that says Apple Developer Warning. And it goes on to talk about how possibly, you know, the you know, this certificate might mess with other certificates on your phone, but it's probably okay. He doesn't have enough information about that, whatever, whatever. Um, but it's only for that specific Apple ID. So it will ask you for your Apple ID. So here's what I do recommend you do. Go ahead and go to Apple's website or wherever and go ahead and create a burner Apple ID. So it says uh, use your Apple ID email login. So it's gonna ask you for your email and for your password. Now um, it is secure to go ahead and put in your regular Apple ID. Uh, the only reason why I wouldn't do that though is just for extra security reasons. Um, you know that your password is not being sent to anybody else other than Apple to verify um, You know the certificate so that it can put the certificate on your device But again, like I said just for security purposes I would recommend going ahead and making sure that you have a burner, you know Apple ID just another Apple ID just create an Apple ID that you're gonna use specifically for this and You will be good to go 
So again, another thing that I wanted to talk about is the reason why you actually need to put in your Apple ID and do all this stuff to begin with is that it is actually creating a seven day developer certificate for you. So unfortunately, I know this sucks as of right now, but it is what it is. Because of Apple's recent limitations in recent months, it used to be like 30 days or something like that uh, for free side loading, you know, side loading apps for free, but they actually went ahead and lowered it to just seven days. So every seven days, you're gonna actually have to go ahead and redo this. Uh, you're gonna have to go ahead and re-side load this app. So that's just something to note there that you're gonna have to go ahead and redo this every seven days. Um, or you can actually get it custom signed with a paid developer account, or you could get one of those you know services that charge like 10, 15 bucks to get it like that. So here we go, it says your password is only sent to Apple. So again, it could be safe, but I would just do this. Um, Impactor wants to export key access. Just go ahead and press allow if it does that. Signing IPA, and then go ahead and check on your device once everything is said and done. And there you go, boom, there's the Pangu app. So now what we have to do is we have to go to settings and go ahead and go to general, and then scroll down until you see where it says device management. And now here is my account. It says trust with the Pangu app. So we're gonna go ahead and just trust that and hit trust again. So the really awesome part about this is we're done with the computer now, that's it. We don't have to use the computer anymore. So I can unplug my device from the computer and we're done. It's just that simple. So now we're gonna go ahead and tap on the Pangu app and you guys could see it says Pangu would like to send you notifications. We're gonna go ahead and press okay. It says press start button to jailbreak. You guys could see it says device model iPhone 6 OS version 9.3.3 and then it says for iOS 9.2 and 9.3.3 up at the top. So again, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and jailbreak right now. So now we're gonna go ahead and press the start button. It says please lock screen and wait a few seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and lock the device. And next, we're actually gonna get a notification appear on our lock screen telling us, there you go, jailbreak already succeeded, but still needs a few minutes to install Cydia and respring. So we're gonna give it a few minutes, do not touch your device, and your device will automatically reboot in a few minutes. So just go ahead and let it just sit there and wait. And now here's the Apple logo, and boom, that was super fast. Now we're already back into our device, so we can go ahead and slide to unlock swipe over a few pages and there is Cydia guys we did it there's Cydia on iOS 9.3.3 using the English version of the IPA that you have to go install with Cydia Impactor there it is guys as you guys can see now you guys probably are asking me and you're probably wondering well I've heard this is a semi-tethered jailbreak so I'm already, you know, I'm not on the jailbreak boat right now. I'm not with everybody else. I'm not jailbroken using this jailbreak yet. So what does happen when I reboot my device? City is not going to work. What happens? As you guys can see, it says jailbreak succeeded there. That's what it, you know, actually says when we are jailbroken. But what happens when we reboot? Is the jailbreak not going to work? What happens? Let's go ahead and see. So here we go, here's the Apple logo. You guys can see it's rebooting and it's going to actually come up and finish soon and then we will be back at our lock screen. So let's just wait. Just a few more, there you go. So we can go ahead and slide to unlock and then swipe over a few pages. There's Cydia, open it. Oh no, it crashes. What are we gonna do? It's not working. It just keeps crashing over and over again. How do we fix that? So we go ahead and tap on the Pangu app and it says press start button to re-enable jailbreak. And then we hit start, press lock to go ahead and lock the device. So we went ahead and locked the device and now we will get a notification that says jailbreak succeeded but still needs a few minutes to respring. So there you go, boom, we resprung. Here's the Apple logo. It's only gonna take a little while, not gonna take too long. And then we will be back up all your tweaks and everything jailbreak related. City is gonna be working. Everything's gonna be working just as it normally would. So this is how easy it is to re-enable or re-jailbreak your device using this app. So let's just go ahead and wait a little bit longer. Here it is, slide to unlock. So we're gonna go ahead and slide to unlock, swipe over a few pages. There's Cydia. For some reason, it crashed back out. Don't know why it did that, but there you guys go. It's not normally supposed to do that. I don't know why I had that. I decided not to edit it out of the video just because it was really, really weird. But there's Cydia, guys. It's fully working. 
Um, you know, I could install whatever I wanted to, I could do whatever I wanted to, but yeah, it's just super awesome to see, you know, an English version of this come out and it's a completely different way than the PC version, than the Chinese PC version was a little while ago. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know down in the comment area below if you are actually able to jailbreak, if you have any questions, if you're super, super, super excited about all that's happening in the jailbreak world because a lot's been happening recently. Leave me a like, please. That would be very, very appreciated. And thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, this is David signing out. Peace. Wow. This is seriously awesome. I can't believe I've made like how many videos in the past week? It's crazy. I'm doing so well on uploads. Peace.